Hi, this is Wayne Cueto and you're watching PacWest TV at thepacwest.com and behind me is a beautiful San Diego coastline as I'm here on the campus of Point Loma Nazarene University. Now let's go to some highlights from around the PacWest. Point Loma is a beautiful place. The university sits on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean and the teams who play games here bask in the glory of the scenic views before and after every contest. But on this gorgeous early January day, it's not only about the scenery, but about PacWest's competitive business for two women's basketball teams, the host Sea Lions, who are taking on defending conference champion Grand Canyon. The visitors from Phoenix, Arizona are once again on the prowl for a shot at the conference title. Since the league began playing women's basketball in 2006, only once have the Antelopes come up short in their bid for the championship. This year's Grand Canyon team is led by all-conference guard Malin Smith, number 21, along with a newcomer who has made quite an impact this year, forward Judy Jones, number 23. Between the two of them, they helped GCU jump out to a 26-23 lead by halftime. Despite playing shorthanded, the home team Sea Lions, coached by former NBA assistant Bill Westfall, kept the game close throughout. Callie Rhodes led the way for Point Loma with a barrage of outside shots. Rhodes finished the game with a game-high 17 points. But down the stretch, the visiting Antelopes were able to pull away and win the game by double digits. The final score, Grand Canyon 63, Point Loma 49. Because I wasn't here last year, but I know the history here of being in the Pac West. I know that teams are out to get us, you know, so we have to continue to strive for it and don't be, don't settle to say, oh, okay, because we were that team last year, you know, we have to keep going. We have to keep going and keep pushing because everyone do want to get the spot with that we're at. As the season starting to progress, um, I've kind of looked for my shot a little bit more. Um, at the beginning of the season, I wasn't really looking. Um, we needed to kind of find our identity as a team, and I knew that. Um, I don't need to come out and score 20 points like I did last year. I can have 10, and we have a lot of girls who can come and chip in. So I'm not really worried about going out and having big numbers. Just got to do my role, um, and that shirt's going to fall. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's going it's to start falling. We have yet to peak. Um, and, and there are some teams that I think that we, that we play against this year that I honestly don't know if they can play any better. And I know that the Lopes can, and uh, we're looking forward to that for that day to happen. Uh, today's uh, Point Loma, they got after us. You know, they didn't. They're a resilient group. They didn't uh, quit. And uh, we, you know, there's always competitions we got to face. And so you know, we got to remember that that the teams aren't going to fold for us. And so we just got to do our handle our responsibilities to make sure that we you know get them on their heels and keep them there. Despite the loss, Rhodes at Point Loma was very happy with her effort. I think we came into it a little nervous because of their title and we're just a new team in this division and um, we were real nervous about it but you know once we got in there and we were poised and figured out how they were playing and that you know we're we're just as good as they are you know I think I think everything started falling for everyone. Yeah we probably were a little nervous to start the game and trying to do too much I told them we need to play with more poise and just run our stuff and give people a chance to get open and we did and then we, we made a few shots and, and made a game of it but then when we start missing uh, and not rebounding those are the two uh, reasons we could never turn the corner and get the lead. You know all the teams are really great and it is a step up from um, from our NAIA league but um, I think we can hang with them we hung with them tonight and I think we can I think we can do some damage in this in this league. It's been interesting. We've been on the road a lot. Uh, now I think it gets better in the second half of the season, but uh, we're doing a little travel. I think it's a little step up in competition, uh, in the class, and uh, in, in style of play and everything. And so we're, we're enjoying that and we're feeling our way. Uh, and I think we'll be able to compete quite well uh, in the future. For Grand Canyon, it was an important win. Antelope's head coach, Trent May, knows that the Pac West continues to improve year by year and he wants his team focused on the tough journey all the way to season's end. You know, just our success in the Pac West, and I think it's just one of those things when they play us, they know, hey, uh, that's the best team in the conference, uh, you know, it has been. And so with that, they, they just know that, hey, if they, if they were to get a win, that could make their season. And so I think a lot of teams get up and knowing that the kind of the two, uh, you know, to upend us in the championship route has to go through us. And so I think teams really get up to play us. 
By the end of the regular season, Grand Canyon would have its sights set on the postseason. First the Pac West Conference Tournament, and then the NCAA Tournament. It's all part of a long basketball journey for one of the Pac West's premier programs.